guys, it's Emmy. Today we'll be doing another chair cardio exercise, but today we'll be using paper plates as our prop. If you don't have access to paper plates or something similar to paper plates, it's okay. You can still do this exercise and get the benefit of everyone else that's using paper plates. So no worries. First, of course, we're gonna be doing a quick warm up to get our body nice and warm. We'll head into um, a cardio section doing arms and legs, and then we'll do a quick burnout right before we cool down and stretch. So let's go ahead. First, um, if you have the paper plates or something similar, just go ahead and set them to the side. We're not gonna need those right yet. We're just gonna get our body nice and warm. Go ahead and get comfortable in your chair. If you need the support of your chair, go ahead and sit back. I would encourage you if you're uh, stable enough to come to the front of the chair. Get your feet uh, flat on the ground. If you're sitting up nice and tall, this will help engage your core muscles throughout this video. If you need to be sitting in a chair, wheelchair, um, maybe a recliner, your couch, or the edge of your bed, please just make sure that your feet are touching the floor and can land flat on the floor the whole time just for that added um, extra measure of stability. And again, um, I always say if at any time you're doing a certain exercise and something is painful or you're not able to do that, it's okay. You can go back to a different exercise that was working for you. You may also just um, sit and breathe. That's great too. Um, and then you can join back in as we go on to a different exercise that you're able to do. So let's just get started. We're gonna do a couple of just nice little neck rolls forward, neck rolls, side to side and down in front. Remember, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, always breathing in and out. It's very important to keep breathing. Don't hold your breath while you're exercising. You need to keep that oxygen, all that blood flowing throughout your body as you're moving. Go ahead and lift your head back up. And now we're just gonna let our arms hang at the side and we're just slowly gonna twist. It doesn't have to be a big twist. Again, if there is, um, if you're having issues with your back, maybe your hips, this might not be the best little warm up for you to do this part. That's okay. Again, you can just sit and breathe. You can march your feet move your arms, do something else that keeps your body moving, keep breathing in and out, let's go and incorporate our legs, we're going to start marching, one leg at a time, marching up and down, sitting up nice and tall, and let's go ahead and add the shoulders in, we'll do a little shoulder shrugs, up and down, make sure your shoulders are back and away from your ears, but you're still keeping that straight posture, breathing in and out, just getting everything moving, three, two, and one, go ahead and bring out this right leg, now keep your toes pointed up to the ceiling, sitting up nice and tall, we're just going to do some ankle circles, just get those um, the fluids for our joints moving, so if you hear some pops and some crackles, that's okay as long as it's not hurting. Go ahead and reverse, circles in the other way. Sitting up nice and tall. Try not to cave through your back. If you are, then you're more than welcome to take your leg lower. Let's bring that one in, left leg out. Circles out, moving in and out. We're getting warmed up, but really focus on how you're breathing right now and how that's gonna carry you for the rest of this exercise. Go ahead and reverse those circles. Be really proud of yourself that you decided today to do this video and give yourself grace, but really try and push yourself if you can do that. Go ahead and bring that leg in. And then now we're just gonna do a couple of roundhouse kicks. So the beginning part of it would just be to bring the right leg up and then the left leg up bent. So you can have your hands on your hips if you want. 
knees bent and we're just going to do one leg at a time and do circles outward if you want more of a challenge you can bring your leg out and then kick out and then rotate around just like you're kicking your leg over that big stool however you need to warm up today that's okay just don't cave through that spine sit up nice and tall again you can have the leg bent and that's going to do the same thing wherever you need to be that's okay go for four three two and one all right go ahead and pick up those plates i'm going to do just two warm-ups with the plate and then we're going to move on so the first one um, just go ahead and keep the plates stacked and then what we're going to do is just push and pull out in front I know that the plates don't add a lot of weight, obviously, but you can control the resistance by pulling and pushing harder at any point in the workout, or you can speed up. So if you want more in this workout, choose that option. If you need a little less, you can not use the plates, or you can just go a little bit slower. So this is up to you. You pick throughout the rest of the exercise. So we're gonna push in and out, sitting up nice and tall, when you come back, squeeze those shoulders. Now we're gonna incorporate the legs. So right leg up and then kicks out as your arms go in and out. So your leg is tracking over, going the same way with your um, arms. So out and in, out and in, breathing in and out. You guys are doing great. Just nice, slow, controlled movements. You don't have to go at my pace right now or at any other point during the video, just go as you need to. Three, two, and one. Let's go right into that left leg. Keep breathing in and out. Sit up nice and tall. You guys are doing excellent. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Keep the plate stacked. We're gonna sit up nice and tall still, but if you need to bend over, that's okay. Keep that back straight, just bend at the waist. Bring your um, feet just a little bit apart and we're gonna do some figure eight movements with the plate. So again, if you can come to the edge of your chair, that will give you a little bit more room. If you need to turn the plate sideways, that's okay. Whatever's working for you, we're just getting warmed up shoulders warmed up, get our hips warmed up, our abs warmed up, keep breathing in and out. Go for four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to go right into the cardio section. Reset your posture after every exercise, up nice and tall, shoulders down, back, and away from your ears. What we're going to do is, um, Start with some biceps, then move into triceps. So with the biceps, we're gonna just start with the right arm only, 10 reps up and down. When you get up to the top, really squeeze. That's when you're gonna activate that muscle. Then we're gonna go to the left, 10. Then we're gonna alter alternate each arm 10 times. Then we're gonna do both together, okay? And then with the triceps, we're going to have our palms down so the plates are facing down, and then we're gonna lift back. We're gonna do this five times. When we get to the top, we're gonna to do a little bit of a pulse. So I'll remind you when we get there. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the right arm. Have it down at your side. We're gonna hug your elbow in at your side. We're simply just gonna come up and squeeze. You ready? Let's get started. Go for 10, nine, Eight, really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top there. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the left arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top. Five, four, three, two, now we're going right into alternating, right up and left down. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now both at the same time. Catch your breath and let's go. Ten, nine, eight. I really like this exercise because you can fan yourself off at the same time. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake those arms out. You guys are doing great. Hang in there. So we're going to go right into the triceps. We're going to do both arms at the same time. Again, your palms are going to be facing down, so the plates are facing down. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your elbows in at your side, but this time we're going to concentrate on the tricep muscle. So we're just simply for this one, instead of coming all the way forward and back, we're just going to lift back and then come down just a bit. Don't come past your waist. What I want you to do is bend slightly at the hip bone, but don't arch that back. Keep that back nice and straight. All right, so go ahead and lean forward just a bit. Arms back, and we're going to lift five times. Then we're going to do a little pulse at the top for eight count. Ready? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. This is our next one. We're going to hold at the top and pulse. Really squeeze, focus on squeezing that tricep muscle. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I might double pulse on the second one. So let's go right back into the five, four, really squeeze those triceps at the top there. Three, two, one, hold and pulse. Just think about up and down an inch at a time. Going for five, four, three, two, one, reset, core nice and tight, back straight, last set. Five, four, three, two, one, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax, nice. Great job, guys. If you have some water at any time you need a break, go ahead and grab that. My plates are hitting the water, so I'm gonna move it out out of the way a little bit. If anytime you need to stop and take a break, that's fine. You just do what you need to do. All right, next we are going to go right into the windmill. Windmill, so if um, you've been taking my yoga classes, um, you'll know what that is. For those of you that don't, we're going to do it similar to the biceps. We're just gonna do one arm at a time first, so just the right up and down. We'll go right into the left up and down, and then we're gonna alternate one arm up and one arm down. We'll do 10 of each and we're going to go right through that. So if you need a break, take a break. If not, we're going to go right through. Starting with the right arm. 10, 9, 8. Again, if you need more in this, just pull and push harder with the plate. That's okay. If you need a little less, just lighten that pull and push motion. 2 and 1 right over to the left. 10, remember to sit up nice and tall, breathing in and out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're ready, let's alternate. Right up, left down. 10, nine, eight. If you hold your torso, nice and still you're going to engage those abs as well be great full body workout four three two and one excellent good job guys we've got one more and then we're going to move to our legs so go ahead and stack your plate again we're going going to do um 20 seconds of a fast pace and then 10 seconds of a little bit of recovery. So our activity is um, just simply acting like this is a steering wheel. We're going to drive. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep your um, body up nice and tall, but you're um, keeping still throughout this, the midsection of your body, okay? So breathing in and out. 
So we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. So go ahead and just nice and gentle drive the car. Pretend like you're escaping to the beach. In three, two, one. Pick it up a bit. Go a little bit faster. You're ready to get out of here. Have some sun on your face. Feel the water under your feet. I am, that's for sure. You've got three, two, one. Slow it back down. Nice, slow, steady movement. Reset your posture if you've caved a bit. That's okay. We've got two more of these. Two, one. Pick it up. Go a little bit faster. You guys can do this. Try and stay nice and still through the midsection. Engage that core. You guys are doing great. Hang in there. Three, two, one. Take it back down. We've got one more. Catch your breath. Inhale and exhale. Take it back up in three, two, one. Pick it back up. Good job, guys. We're almost there. Smell the salt water. Oh, fabulous. We've got three, two, and one. Excellent. Good job, guys. Okay, so go ahead, separate the plates. Take a break. If you need to grab a drink, that's okay. So now we're gonna move on to our legs. So we're gonna have our feet in, on top of the plates, or in the plates. So again, it's a very, gonna be very important that you're sitting up nice and straight, nice and tall. Engage those core muscles. So the first move we're gonna do is a cross country ski. So you're just gonna have one foot forward and one foot back. You can add the arms here. If you would like, it gives you a little bit more of a core workout. Then we're going to go um, right into a jumping jack. So you're going to move your legs in and out. When you're moving the plate, it's just adding a little bit more of a muscle work for, for the legs. So if you're not doing uh, using the, the paper plates, that's okay. A cross country ski, you can add a little pickup if you want. And the jacks, you can add a little um, hop if you would like to. From there, we're going to go on to leg circles. So we're going to do circles out, circles in, and then we're going to do both, both uh, legs together, okay? After that, if we have time, we're going to do a couple of letters, and then we'll, we'll end with our big finale. So let's start with a cross-country ski, and um, we might switch up some of the ways that we do, do that from uh, full foot, heels and toes, and we'll see how much time we have, okay? So we'll do 10, and then we'll switch them around. So let's start with cross-country ski, left foot forward, right foot back, and alternate, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay? Next. How about we try, come up on your tippy toes, okay? Each of these um, that we alternate how we're holding our feet on the plate, we're gonna just do five of them so we don't get too burnt out, okay, ready? Cross country ski, toes are controlling the movement of the plate, ready? Five, four, three, two, and one, excellent. Now let's switch and your heels are gonna be in the middle of the plate, same thing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Go ahead and take a breather. We're going to do that same thing, but we're going to do a jumping jack motion. So in and out. We're going to do full foot. Then we're going to do toes. Then we're going to do heels. I'm hoping that you guys are feeling the different parts of the muscles, the different muscles in your legs moving when we switch up how we are. Uh, moving that plate. So pay attention if something's hurting again, you can go back to uh, moving the plate with the full part of your foot if you need to. So reset your posture up nice and tall. Remember breathing in and out. Whole foot on the plates and we're going for jumping jacks in and out. Ready? Arms at your side if you want to add them in, up and down. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, 
one. Now we're going down to our five count. Get those tippy toes in the center of the plates. Okay, and then add your arms if you'd like. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the heels, you guys. Heels in the middle of the plates. Arms down. Let's go. For five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. I'm hoping that you guys are feeling this three or four as well. If you're sitting up nice and tall, you should feel that. We're going to move on to leg circles. We're going to do five of each. So we're starting with the right leg, five circles out, five circles in, right to the left leg, five circles out, five circles in, and right into both legs, five circles out, five circles in, okay? We're going to burn these legs out. You guys ready? You can have your hands your hips, have your hands on your thighs, on the chair, whatever is best for you. Let's start with this right leg, sitting up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Now reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now switch to that left leg. Five, four, three, two, and one, let's bring the circles inward. Big circles, as big as you can get them, but still maintaining control. Two, and one. Now, remember we're going to um, both be at the same time, circles out. Sitting up nice and tall, control that core, engage those muscles. Two, and one. Now let's bring the circles inward. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Now I just want to do um, both feet together. So let's go ahead and come back on our tippy toes. Instead of isolating just one side or the other for um, time purpose sake, we're going to do uh, both feet out and both feet back in. If you need to do just one at a time, that's fine. Go ahead and choose that option, okay? So let's start both feet, tippy toes in the middle of the plate and circles out for five, four, three, two, and one. Switch over to the heels, engage that core, sit up nice and tall, that'll help you get more control over the circles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. All right, we are gonna do one more, and then we're gonna move on to our last exercise and then a set of pull downs. So we're gonna do a set of V's. So we're gonna start with our feet together um, here at the bottom of our chair. And then as we push up, we're gonna push our plates away from each other. It's gonna look like this. So we're gonna do 10 of those. Then we're gonna do five on our tippy toes and five on our heels, okay? So make sure to take a nice deep breath in. Set that posture, hands where you would like for them to go, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Up on your tippy toes. Let's go for 5, 4, 3, Two, and one, I'm really feeling these in my uh, quads, hamstrings, my core, I hope you guys are too. Let's go for um, our heels in the center for five more Bs. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, this is our last one. Give it all you've got. I know you guys can do this. Hang in there, you're doing great. So we're gonna have the plates here in front of us. And we're simply going to touch the floor, then touch the plate. So you're really gonna be using the, the core muscles and obviously the muscles in your legs. So we're gonna switch between, again, full foot, tippy toes and heels. So the first one, you're just gonna go full foot in and out and then from the side, in and out, okay? Then we're gonna take a, a quick, quick breath. 
Then we're gonna go from tippy toes, forward, in and out, side, in and out. Try to keep nice and straight posture. Try not to cave or go backwards like I do sometimes. Straight into heels, forward, back, side to side. Again, if you need the support of your chair, that's great. If you can come to the front of your chair a little bit, you'll engage um, those core muscles and it'll give you a little bit extra um, of a workout. So let's get started with those. We're going to start with the full part of our foot tapping both the floor and the plate, okay? And if you need to just do one at a time, that's okay. You do what you need to do. So we're gonna do 10 of each and we're gonna circle, cycle right through all of that. So this is gonna be our, our last round burnout right before our cool down and stretch, okay? So 10 of each, let's get started, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, right out to the side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Your legs are gonna be burning, that's fine. Right to the tippy toes, keep breathing in and out. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right out to the side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, guys, you've got this. Let's go keep going. Heels, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your legs should be on fire. Last one, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Great, everyone. You made it through. That was the whole cardio workout for today. Oh, my legs are burning. I'm sure your guys are too. It's an awesome feeling knowing that you accomplished that today. So let's get a proper cool down and um, be ready to face the rest of the day. So go ahead and just lightly tap leg, get that blood flow back in, go ahead and tap some of the arms, tap some on the arms, a little tongue twisted today, if you've noticed. All right, go ahead and bring that right leg out, toes pointed up to the ceiling, sit up nice and tall, fold forward just until you feel that gentle stretch in the back of your leg. Try and let the crown of your head fall down to the ground. Arms are hanging down. Try not to put too much pressure on that leg that's extended unless you want to pull those toes back for a deeper stretch. Keep breathing in and out. When we're in an inversion, our, heart's below, our head is below our heart. You need to keep breathing in and out. And go ahead and slowly roll yourself back up. Let's kick that left leg out and go ahead and pull forward. Again, keep those toes pointed to the ceiling. Bend just till you feel that little stretch. If you need to be up here and that's where you feel that stretch, it's okay. Do what you need to today and listen to your body and what it's telling you that it needs. Breathing in and out. And then slowly go ahead and roll yourself back up. Let's go ahead and bring your right arm across. We're gonna stretch this shoulder. And then at the same time, we're gonna do some wrist circles. Kill two birds with one stone. Go ahead and reverse those wrist circles. And bring that, those fingers into your thumb and we'll stretch those fingers out. Very important, I always say it's very important that you stretch your fingers and your thumbs out, your hands and your feet. Let's go ahead and switch and do some wrist circles. We put a lot of strain 
on our hands and our feet that I don't think we're aware of reverse. So it's a very important that maybe, you know, during a commercial or while you're watching TV, go ahead and massage your hands and feet, stretch them out. Bring your fingers to your thumb. Still sitting up nice and tall, still breathing in and out. But let your heart come down to a nice resting pulse. Excellent. If you're able, go ahead and bring that right arm up for a tricep stretch. Be proud of yourself today. Trying your best, pushing yourself. Maybe you accomplished, switch. Maybe you accomplished something you didn't know that you were able to, or maybe you were able to listen to your body and pull back when you needed to. Just be thankful that you're here and you're breathing and you're able to be moving around. All right, go ahead and release. And let's bring that right ear to the right shoulder. You can bring your left arm out if you want a deeper stretch and that right arm up to meet the left ear, but just pull slightly. Keep breathing in and out. Go ahead and reverse left ear to left shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. Right arm out to the side if you want a deeper stretch and pull that left arm up to meet the right ear. Only if you need this deeper stretch. If not, you can stay just the ear to the shoulder. Breathing in and out. Go ahead and release. Give me one more, or, sorry, two inhales and exhales. So get, bring your arms in for a, a big hug. Take a deep breath in for an inhale. Arms up and exhale. Do one more time. Big hug and inhale. Arms up and exhale. Great, you guys did a fabulous job. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this experience. If not, or if you have any comments or suggestions, please let one of the activity staff, um, an aide or a nurse know, and hopefully they can let me know if there's anything else that I can improve upon or um, adjust so that these videos are more helpful. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay well and stay active. See you guys later.